Hello, everyone, I am Dr. Chen. The following is the introduction of four auscultation locations. First, the auscultation will start at the second right and left intercostal space. The right side is aortic valve area. And the left side is pulmonic valve area. And here, the fourth to fifth left intercostal space, is the tricuspid valve area. At the end, below the nipple, about the fourth to fifth left intercostal space, is the mitral valve area. Now, I am going to demo how to use a traditional stethoscope for auscultation. First, listen to the aortic valve area. Second, the pulmonic valve area. Then, the tricuspid valve area. Last, the mitral area. The above is a simple flow for using traditional stethoscope for auscultation. Now, I am going to demo how to use the proposed intelligent stethoscope. This intelligent stethoscope combine the ECG measurement. So, it is necessary to attach the ECG patch before we start auscultation. The ECG patch will measure humans' ECG signal, which will help to define heart sounds pattern more precisely. When the ECG signal becomes steady, we can start to measure the heart sound. Same as traditional one. First, listen to the aortic valve area. Second, listen to the pulmonic valve area. Third, listen to the tricuspid valve area. At the end, listen to the mitral valve area. And the above is a complete flow of using this intelligent stethoscope. Compared to the traditional one, this intelligent stethoscope can help doctors to diagnose easily. Due to the simultaneous ECG measurement, doctors can identify S1 and S2 more easily according to the visualized signal. It is expected to help doctors to diagnose, medical students to learn heart sound pattern, and even more, realize the telemedicine in the future. The above is a simple demonstration of this intelligent stethoscope. Thank you.